Welcome back, Jules and Jules, to my channel. I should never wore this white top. This got my chest looking. I don't like it. I'm gonna return this, but I had to. <laughs> I had to get one little way out of this because it took almost two months to get here. So I said, "Hell, let me wear it for a YouTube video." But now I'm starting to. I this is why I'm gonna return it because I don't even like it. it it's giving grandma. It's giving thin. It's giving knitted. It's giving too much clavicle. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I do a whole list of things on this channel. But right now, my main focus and goal is to give you guys story times. So I was going to come on here today because I've been a little in my A. Um, I did go live for my two live crew. And I gave them an update of why I've been kind of like ducked off and not like uploading every two days like I normally do. And I was going to come here today and give you guys an update for what I basically said, um, an update on my stalker ex-boyfriend. <laughs> but this morning, I got an email from one of my subscribers, and I was going to put it at the end of the update video. But, girl, I just opened her email, and that thing is so long that we going to make this the video. Because, baby, I... She, she had a mouthful, okay? I don't know what I'm gonna name this video, but her title for the video for the email reads Sneaky Link or Potential Bay? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So no names will be given. If I accidentally say a name, I will cut it out. So she says, no names, no face, no case. Girl, let me get cozy, let me get comfortable. So she says, girl, let me tell you, let me tell you, it's more of asking, oh, it's more of, of I can't talk. It's more of asking what would Shay do instead of a story time. But girl, I have this sneaky link side dude jump off. Girl, she using all the terms, ain't it? Girl, jump off so old, girl. I must call it child main squeeze, child. Jump off, that's so middle school, high school. Okay, girl, where you from? So, whatever you want to call them right now. LOL, we've been seeing each other for a few year, years. Girl, that should be your man. I don't know. And we have never been in a relationship, red flag number one. We've, we've had good communication, have you really? Okay. We laugh and we have a great time. And the sex, girl, girl, the D game is amazing. Let me tell you, girl, but we also have boundaries. So when he's in a relationship, we don't speak. No communication. And when I'm in a relationship, no communication. If he's single and I'm in a relationship or vice versa, we still do not communicate we both have been single in order we both have to be single in order for us to see each other right it could be months or however long we just respect each other's relationship we do not question each other on what the other person does nothing the what the other person do she tried it. okay that's person does we live in the same city and we barely even run into each other outside weird but yeah I have my life he has here. We are total opposites. Like, he knows a lot of people. He's always outside. He's the type of dude that no matter where he go, he's not, he knows somebody. On the other hand, I'm an introvert, a homebody. Oh, I got to scroll down. Sorry, y'all. Outside for what? Go to work and come back home type. Now, I do step out and show out when I need to, but I'd rather be home. That's me. That's me. Um, I know a lot of people and most of the same people he knows because we're from the same city and went to the same high school. But if you're looking for me, I'm in the home. I'm, I'm at home. Girl, I'm, I'm about to catch a stroke trying to read this. I don't have friends like that. Um, there's no periods, commas, or nothing in this, y'all. So I'm trying to find the inflection for the sentences. And no shade to my girl. She 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 put some in the beginning, but this this part is like so together. 
Okay, she says, I know a lot of people, and most of the same people he knows because we went to the same we because we're from the same city and we went to the same high schools. But if you looking for me, I'm home. I really don't have friends like that. I literally have two real friends, girl. I got one, and that don't include him. So, anyways, when we were both single, it's like we always single at the same time, lol for real. And when the universe works, it's magic. No words needed. He could text or I'll text him like, what you doing? Or it, all it takes is an emoji with the the eyeballs or the looking up. Or I'll text him randomly like, your ugly ass. And he'll laugh and he'll text me back like, fuck you doing, LMAO. Like, girl, shit, start jumping off again because we know what it is. Girl, this toxic. This is This is exhausting. This is exhausting. I'm just reading it. Um, it's too much for my emotions. <laughs> I couldn't do this. I'd be been like, no. Mm -hmm. um, like, I will show out with him in the... Oh, child. She said, I'll show out with him in the bedroom, the couch, the floor, bitch, wherever. <laughs> Where the fuck ever. And he'll do the same. We'd be in his house or my house because we both live alone. Good job for him. Good job for you. We have the best effing time and laughing, talking, venting. Oh, girl, does this sound like my ex? Child. He was there for me when my sister passed away. That's nice. He helped me move, girl. This man, your man. <sighs> he comes, brings my cases of water in the house. This your man, girl. I helped him get a job. This your man, girl. Helped him practice for interviews girl this is your man girl i helped him look for his house girl and where is your key because this is your man we are truly best friends no y'all two are truly okay and no tea no shade but i'm just kicking it to you flat okay low key <sighs> the only thing we do before we start back linking up is we go ahead and get tested together See why he just won't commit to you because he he's already doing things that a lot of men would contest to because they feel like why well, I gotta go with you why I can't go by myself but if a man is willing to say yeah we can go down to the clinic oh look at me looking off in space yeah we can go to the clinic together I go with you I sit there I go get tested just to be you know proactive and let my lady know I'm safe and I'm actually getting tested with her see that's my nigga type shit like. Other dudes be like, okay, I'll go and just give you the results and send them to you. But for y'all, y'all doing a lot. This is a marriage, okay? Anywho. Anyway, she said they'll get tested together, and I always demand we go together because I need to see everything, sir. See? Safety first, and he never gives me any pushback. Never had a complaint about what I want before he touched my body. And he shouldn't complain because it is your body. And it's been years. Now, right now, we've seen each other. And his grandmother, the love of his life, has recently passed away. Poor baby. And a few days ago, of course, I'm right there. About three weeks ago, though, we were doing our thing. And all of a sudden, he said, yo, why are we not together? Like, right. Why the fuck I'm not your nigga? Like, what are you talking about, lady? I'm over here smashing you out. Why am I not your dude? Like, nigga. I don't understand either. Um, he said, yo, why are we not together? Like, why are you not my girl? I want you to be my girlfriend. And bitch, I was shook. I <laughs> The lady was too shook to speak. That's what she wrote, y'all. I promise. Because um, what the fuck? Now, let, let me say this. We are total opposites outside the bedroom. Like I said, but when we're in a relationship, girl, I'm in a relationship locked down. I give my all and I love her, but I don't tolerate nonsense Virgo shit. LOL. Ew, Virgos. Um, my sister and my ex is a Virgo. However, from the times we spoke about his past relationships, I am not impressed. I will just say that. Like, I don't see myself being in a relationship with him. Let's pause this because she got a lot left on this email. You ask what would Shay do? I'm just going to stop right here and intervene. Why are you having sex with him? Now, I ain't got to all my whole stories. And there's been times I fucked dudes that I know back in my youth 
that I was not in a relationship with. But I never consistently, not for no years, had sex with even when I was messing with my sneak, my sneaky link celebrity crush. A part of me wanted to be his girlfriend, and a part of me was hoping one day, just one day, I would potentially be a bay or a boo or something where it just wasn't sex. But from what well, I'm just kick, you ain't, I ain't finished, but I'm gonna get back to your email. This dude has been doing a lot. Not to say I don't know the young man. So I'm not saying he's probably relationship material. But what I am saying is why go so far? Like, as a young lady, as a, a, a you know, sex is one thing. But y'all doing too much for you to say now, 13 years later in the email, that you are not impressed with his dating life. That's a, you now, you, Miss Mamas, I'm sorry, my jewel. You a red flag because why even potentially get yourself in trap with the man you don't even, you're not even impressed with his dating skills. Y'all fucking like rabbits. You could easily end up getting pregnant by this man. And if he's not showing you or exhibiting signs of a man who's successful in relationships, you need to go ahead and lock up shop. Even if y'all do kick it and kiki kiki and laugh and all that stuff, he don't need to be getting the goods and you don't want to give him the rest of you. Girl. Let me stop talking because you might say something I like later on in the sentence. She said that she's not impressed. I would just say that like I don't see myself being in a relationship with him and everything in my gut, in my heart, in my mind, my soul, in my body. Girl, girl, girl is screaming red flags and those flags are definitely not green. They are bright red like a motherfucker. It's crazy because when we met years ago, it was like instant sexual attraction and he is fine, girl. You should have put a picture in here. But <laughs> never someone I saw wanted to be in a relationship. Why did you fuck the man? Oh, my God. We never spoke on it. Never. Us women know what we want from men. And men know what they want from us. So it's clear as fucking day to me. Stop fucking him. That's all I could say. I ain't even finished. But, like, why are you still carrying on with this? You are breaking your own heart. Okay, so it's clear as day to me, and he keeps asking and commenting on why. He gonna stop talking to you. I'm not his girl yet, and what I'm waiting for, and blah, blah, blah. And I straight up said, because I don't want to be your girl, honestly. I've been, I've always been open, honest, and blunt with him, and everyone else, that's just who I am. And that's the Virgo in my blood. But we are very blunt. I just want to cry. Oh, Lord. We are just very blunt about what we want and don't want. LMAO. Lord have mercy. So, right now, it's not a topic because he's dealing with a lot of the loss of his grandmother and another loss. And he said, once the funeral's down, we need to talk because he's not going to stop until I'm officially his lady. And that's what a real man does. He gonna hunt you down so he can get you. Okay. And... <sighs> I'm um, everything he wants, which may be true. You, nigga, you help this man get jobs. You help him get his place. Come on, like, he not no, most men ain't no idiot. They can spot a good woman, okay? And from the sounds of it, you build a, you build a nigga. You know what I'm saying? You build a rob in this bitch. So, if I was a dude, and I had a young lady helping me out, getting my life together, keeping my life on track, why would I, okay. So, my question is, what would Shay do, LMAO, I mean, LOL, help your girl out? Because I want to continue what we have. No, you don't. But I don't want to be in a relationship with him. Let him go. I enjoy what we have and want to continue. He going to cut you off. But I can't ignore my heart. What would you do? How would you start off this conversation? Hey, listen, buddy. Um, Because I know what I want. But <laughs> because I'm so blunt. I'm very blunt. Um, I know it's going to come out a little too strong. You already broke the man feelings by telling him you don't want to be his lady. So, uh, girl, child. Especially when I'm trying to get my point across to make him understand. I don't know, girl. He's one and he's my one and only sneaky link. I don't do this all. Do this at all, but something about him is just, eh. 
Thanks for the venting session. And I, LOL. oh, thank you for the venting session. LOL. Love you and your channel. Wish you nothing but success. Thank you, girl. Let me email you back right now. See if you really fine. Okay. Y'all can always send y'all responses. And now that I'm sitting here, right, emailing her, girl, just foolish. Ashanti. I got to email her for that phone. Because I think all I'm doing is emailing myself. <laughs> So I had to forward that to my other email so I can actually read it. Girl, we gonna call you Lost Soul. Miss Indy Irie Lost Soul. Girl, let that man go. And y'all can comment in the comment section to give her advice because she's probably gonna read all the comments. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I have never had a successful relationship. Mind you, I'm only 23. But I've had healthy uh, situations. Let's put it like that. <laughs> where it wasn't toxic, it wasn't abusive, and it was very open and honest with each other. You have been leading a life of I don't even know how to put this. Y'all been wasting each other time. Well, I don't know the young man, so let me not speak for him. You have been wasting his time. Let's say that. Because you said years. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, let me let me tell you something. Even as a woman who's never had a successful, and when I say successful, I mean my definition of success. Successful relationship, I still know that I have certain time frames and diameters that I will not allow myself to be a part of. I've never been sneaky links with a person for years where we have mutual understanding and at this point, y'all have love for each other. It's obvious. It's so... Yeah, girl, it's going back. It got me itching and shit. But y'all have mutual understandings with each other. He does basically whatever you ask him to do and doesn't complain. Now, my only thing is you didn't include your real, real reasons why you're not impressed with his dating, like, ha is he a serial cheater? Is he one of them guys who are never satisfied? Is he one of them guys who don't know how to really take care of a woman emotionally? And, and like, couldn't, clearly he knows how to do it sexually because you keep giving up the cat. But I'm asking, like, you never gave us those things. Like, some women can say they're not impressed because he may be the guy who doesn't like to go on dates. Or you may not be impressed because he's not a very neat or clean guy. And he thinks that's okay in a relationship to be filthy. Or like anything could have been the reason why you're not impressed. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, he a dog, a nigga. And he'll be knowing how to treat his girlfriends. That's why he be going in and out of relationships. I'm not going to say that because you didn't put that in the email. But now what I will go off of is the fact that you've been through this. You've been felt this. You been kind of had an inkling of what type of boyfriend he was. And eventually, I think you knew this subject was going to come up. Because who wants to just be giving up twat pot and ping ping for years to a person without, like, catching feelings or wanting something more? Like, we keep... You got to think of about it from his perspective. We keep doing this in and out thing. Like, in his mind, you kind of like hears... Because he knows that when shit don't work with whoever he dealing with, you hit him up, he hit him up. I mean, he hit you up, and y'all fall back in line, fall back in line like train tracks on a railroad. Like you don't see that how he could feel that way. Like, oh, she hasn't gone anywhere after all these years, and every time shit don't work with her old man, her old dudes, she come running back. I come running to her, and it's just like no time has passed. So, I don't even blame him for wanting... I hate afros because my hair. I don't even blame this young man for wanting something more from you because if he is a good gentleman mentally, then he's probably putting the math together. Well, maybe all these other relationships aren't working because who he really wants is you. And he keeps looking for a piece of you and these other women. Now, I'm just saying... May not be that in depth, but I'm just saying sometimes we go searching and trying to find happiness for other people because we're not going to get it from the person we want it from. And if shit was really working with you, Miss Mamas, Miss, Miss India Ivory, you wouldn't be in and out relationships. I say 
you really don't want to give him no chance like dead ass like you serious you don't want to give this man a chance i said i say this text him and say hey listen can we sit down and go on a date not no don't go to his house don't go to your house don't meet at no car don't no go on a date like a date date restaurant entertainment place a park feeding birds Bitch, I don't care. I don't care if y'all go to a train convention where they put together trains. Go on a date. Y'all need to go on a date date, like for real. And you sit there and you and you go through the date, this and the third, and you talk to him and you say, hey, listen, I'm going to keep a G with you. Talk how I don't know your lingo and I don't know what city or state you from. So you could just talk. I'm going to say how I was as a Florida girl. Hey, listen here, man. Like... Can I really talk to you? I just got to, like, get some off my chest. So, you know, I know every, this is how I would say it. I know you dealing with the loss of your, your grandparent or whatever. And we really been kicking it for a while. Like, shit been going kind of, yeah, yeah, for a little, a little minute, whatever, a couple years. And, you know, you know, you my little yay. But when you ask me to be your girlfriend, kind of, like, fuck with me a little bit because... You've never asked me anything remotely close to that. We never even talked about us dating. You've never taken me out. I don't know if you never took you out before, but you never taken me out. You never done nothing nice. All these years have passed. There's never been no Valentine's Day gift for me. There's never been no birthday gift for me. It's never been no trips. But now all of a sudden you want to be your girlfriend. It's like you can't just. No, you can't switch the board like that. If you trying to apply pressure, apply pressure like I would make any of these other dudes do it. You need to show me like it's not just going to be a sex thing. Buy me flowers. Take me out to eat. Take me on nice dates. Call me in the morning. Text me. Make sure I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it just be no, oh, when somebody in my family passed away, somebody in your family passed away, you there for me. Or if I'm single, you there for me. No, like, really show me that you could be the type of man that I'm looking for. Because right now, like, based off the stuff that we've talked about in your previous relationship, you just ain't ready for the type of man I'm looking for. You're not there yet, sir. Like, I'm sorry, my guy. You, to me, there's a lot of emotional growing that you have to do. And I'll take a little second. See how he looking. See, you guys, you want to say something? If you don't got nothing to say, then just be like, I do want to still have sex with you, but I'm going to be honest, if that's not the things that I've said, if those things aren't something that you can do right now, keep it a, keep it a stack with me. You know, let me know. That's cool, because I still want to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I still give this twat pot, you know, if that's what you want to do, I wouldn't still give him a twat pot, but let him know, like... If that's something that you want to do, you really do want me to be your girlfriend. Just know that we taking a risk on losing our friendship if it don't work out. And if that's okay with you, and you willing to step up to the plate, I'm willing to give you a chance. And if the shit don't work, I just know it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. And we'll just call it a call a spade a spade, my boy. Like that's just. That's just what it's gonna be, and that's that's how I would say it. Now that's not that's with all my little Florida growing up and how we talk to our niggas in Florida. I don't know how y'all talk to y'all people where you from, but I probably would have called them a jit here and there somewhere down the road because we love that. But yeah, I just my guy like my boy like. I just, I want to fuck with you, my boy, but it's just like, you feel me? You feel me? We like, really can't still, you know, you know, like shit. Like, man. <laughs> we really be talking like the dudes, but it's, and they, they fuck with it. They understand, like, it's just Florida. Like, most of us are all the same when it comes to the way we handle each other. But, Tell him, tell him something along those lines. Don't be so rugged and ragged with him. Like, oh, I, you do don't you don't impress me when it comes to relationship. Cause that's the blunt in me and you that would want to say some shit like that. Fuck the whole Virgo this that third. 
I'm a Pisces and I talk just the same way. Now, I talk the same way. I be shooting the shit straight with these dudes. Like, you just trying to fuck me? Tell me right now. You know what I'm saying? Or your teeth kind of crooked. You know what I'm saying? I tell a bitch what it is, what it ain't. Real quick. But when, you, especially when you're dealing with a person you've been dealing with for years, you never know who God sends for you. That's, that's all I'm saying. I ain't going to get too deep, too deep. All I'm gonna say, don't sit here and crush the opportunity before you give it a try. Now, if he's one of those debilitating men where he's just not there, like if there's some stuff you didn't tell me, like the nigga, he got a house but he ain't got no car, he ain't got no job, the nigga don't take his girls on dates, the it's DV all over the place, you know, he like to knock on bitches' doors in the middle of the night. If the nigga crazy, scratch that shit. Just tell him straight up to his face. Hey, listen, the poom poom is yours, but the love and the relationship you can't have. Um, you can't, don't shake, a, don't shake a, a scary nigga. You know, he might be outside the door with a radio, boom boss. And, uh, nah, nah, all that good stuff. So, if he not, if he a cool, chill dude, get a nigga a chance. You never know till you try. Next thing you know, girl, you might be on this motherfucker to talk about. It. And girl, I took your advice, and now we've been in a relationship for a year. And he done took me to, like, you know, and now y'all bitches in love, and that's your man. Because the whole time I've been reading the email, that been your man. You just ain't know that was your man. Um. So, anywho, that's it, y'all. That's all I got for y'all. Only one person sent their story in, which I'm appreciative of her story because... That was a journal entry, baby. She was getting her heart and her soul out. Stop having sex with that man. But if y'all got anything that y'all would like to send to me, questions, just want a crazy story time. I don't care what it is. First of all, I love hearing y'all drama because y'all always get to hear my drama. So, babe, send in your stories to my email. I will have my email on the bottom of this, uh, hopefully throughout the whole entire video. Do not email, do not inbox me on my Instagram because it, my Instagram is filtered. So you may end up in my request box, request box. And at the moment I have 54 requests and I'm not going through them. And over time they do decrease, but I'm not going to be looking through those. So email me so I can get the notification and go and read in it. I'll email you back and let you know when I'll be recording your response. So you don't got to be waiting around, waiting around. Yeah, okay. But <sighs> I hope you guys like that. I'm trying to like style a segment on my channel. I'll be back when my hair is done. I have a hot little date with this tenderoni um, tomorrow. So I'm going to get my hair done, get all glammed up. I might even make it a video. I ain't think about that. That might be a little cute little video. Let me do my intro real quick after this. But until next time, Joseph and Gems, peace.